Hey everyone, welcome and well, thanks so much for today's video being Tokyo Treat and Securico. So Tokyo Treat is a monthly Japanese subscription box where you'll get 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time, such as these Kit Kats and all the other cool things. Securico then is a monthly Japanese subscription box where you'll actually receive 20 traditional and authentic artisan Japanese snacks. Items including Japanese teas, a special Japanese tableware every month, and then Sakurako actually helps in partnering with local Japanese snack makers to continue to share Japanese culture and traditions that have been passed over hundreds of years. Both boxes come with a different theme every month, so they keep things exciting and fresh. What's really cool is their mission is to share the Japanese culture with the world through the medium of snacks. So this way you can enjoy pop Japanese snacks through Tokyo Treat, and traditional Japanese treats through Sakurako. Each box also has a cultural guide booklet which tells you what the snacks are all about, what's in it, and uh, just some general really cool information about Japan and the culture. And then this month's Tokyo Treat Box theme is Sakura Picnic. And there's some exclusives such as the Pine Me Sakura Candy, the Strawberry and Red Bean Loaf, and the Kit Kat Banana Caramel. Ooh, it's like flowery and, oh wow, I like that. And then in the Securico, the theme is matcha and mochi, featuring an exclusive Sakura Sencha tea. Mmm, matcha. But that, everybody, you can save $5 right now. Yes, $5 right now off your first Tokyo Tree or Sakura Co. box by using the code JOEL. So click that link down below, guys. Use that coupon code JOEL. Make sure you order by April 30th to get this month's box. So with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. And today, it is a cold, 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 cold evening out here. But we are at Pudge's Cheesesteak. Pudge's Cheesesteaks in Blue Bell, Pennsylvania. Yes, so about an hour ish north 45 hours north of philadelphia here doing their big cheesesteak challenge so for this challenge you have an absolutely massive 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 cheesesteak just load it with meat um and then of course cheese being a cheesesteak and then you have a big thing of fries yes i think it's supposed to be like five pounds of fries which is insane so overall the meal i think is weighing upwards of nine pounds um people say the cheesesteak is between three and four and then obviously with the five pounds of fries so eight to nine pound challenge now, you only have 30 minutes to complete this challenge, which is also very, very difficult. In fact, this is like a really well-known challenge for being very, very difficult. Even like a lot of high-level eaters generally struggle with this challenge. I've never seen anybody um, do this challenge in less than like probably like 24 minutes, 25 minutes, something along those lines. So definitely a tough one. Um, what is really cool is you do get to win a jackpot. Yes, you get a jackpot cash prize if you are successful. Right now, the jackpot is at $125, and every time somebody fails, $5 goes in the pot. Um, the bait, I like think the net or the base starts at $50, um, which I believe the meal is about $60 or something like that if you fail. Um, so anyway, let's about that. Let's head on in. Let's have some fun. Let's eat some food. Again, Pudge's cheesesteaks. They have kind of a funny emblem there, but uh, that's about it, guys. So when in Pennsylvania, you know, kind of Philly. Philly cheesesteak, cheesesteak. Anyway, close enough. Let's go in, let's have some fun, let's eat some food, and wish me luck. We're definitely gonna be in for a ride. All right, everyone, so here we are with the cheesesteak. It is very, very large, uh, like giant, in fact. Lots and lots and lots of meat. There goes a face for you. And then we have the giant thing of fries. Yes, it's supposed to be like, almost like five pounds of french fries. Definitely a great big order. So, 30 minutes. That we get meal for free, as we said, we get $125 jackpot. That's pretty much it. They only recently started doing this again since COVID, so I'm glad we we're able to have the opportunity. Uh, it starts with my first bite, so how about we get started? I don't really know where to get started. I'll probably start with just some of this meat. How about we start at the count of, let's say, five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Hey everyone, welcome to Zidore. Today we're here at Pudge's, yes, Pudge's Cheesesteak in Blue Bell, Pennsylvania, which is probably about like an hour, maybe hour and a half, depending on traffic north of Philadelphia. So here we are doing their legendary cheesesteak challenge. So this is a challenge that I have had on my radar since I think like 
2018 since I was literally going for like my first definitely 10 food challenges because it always had a cash prize. At the time, um, I believe it was my good friend Mr. Darren Eats who I saw do it. He won, I don't know, maybe like $200 um, and of course I wanted to get on some of that action. Once I've lost me, I will try to be like a chef. The rules of the challenge are pretty simple. I mean, essentially you eat the five orders of fries. Yes, only five orders of fries, which is a huge, huge, huge container. Plus the cheesesteak, which is technically like two monster massive cheesesteaks, and then with extra meat, but we'll call it one cheesesteak in the 30 minute time limit. Um, again, if you are able to do that, you get the meal for free, you get a sweet t-shirt, and then you get the cash prize, which uh, is a jackpot cash prize. So what that means is it has a base of $50, and every time someone somebody uh, loses um, they actually interestingly here they offer it so they're like they when I purchased they said okay and if you fail do you want to add five or ten dollars to the pot which of course I said yes um, but that's how it works so every time somebody tries it they'll add five or ten dollars to the pot I guess as per potentially the customer agreeing to it again not a hundred percent sure how that all you know exactly works but that was what it seemed to be um, the cheesesteak itself like the meat was uh, definitely soft it was uh, quite tasty um, they did not use uh, like a cheese whiz or anything it was like a uh, white mozzarella kind of sliced cheese in there um, not overly amount of cheese and definitely a lot of meat again this is considered like their monster sub or monster cheesesteak times two and then the uh, extra meat on top of it um, so it was that was but all, honestly it was solid tasted good um, now again there's absolutely a lot a lot of fries and I knew that bread was probably gonna take some work as well so I definitely knew I needed to kind of keep my head down and keep working um, as this is not a easy challenge this is definitely a uh, we'll say like expert expert challenge and the challenge has grown over the years. Back in the day, uh, Randy Santel uh, did this challenge when it was about five or six pounds. Um, the cheesesteak was much smaller. I, I think you had a lot less fries, or at least quite a bit less fries as well. But same thing with the prize. It's, it's always been a jackpot cash prize, which I think is really cool. We're just over three minutes in. Three and a minute. I am always obviously a fan of cash prizes. I think it gives a real good incentive for people to try. They have some sauces to smell that hot honey sauce. And then, I mean, you know, well, it really it does. It, it encourages people to try in all regards. Um, when it, this challenge is definitely an expert, expert challenge. So not only is it like a legit, I would say eight, maybe nine pounds of food but at least eight pounds of food um, but again it's only a 30 minute time limit so it's not a lot of time for that amount of weight and the cheesesteak is kind of a complex food to eat it's not like you're eating eight pounds of ice cream which you can just kind of swallow and not chew the meat although it is quite soft it was quite tender um, it you did you know, obviously does require some chewing the bread requires chewing the fries require chewing so there's definitely a lot of chewing involved the foods do t uh, also need quite a bit of liquid um, again whether uh, you want to opt on some sauces kind of like I was trying to do a bit um, you know and or whatever just you need something to help kind of propel some add some lubrication some moisture to help you kind of get all those foods down besides that though I believe that's pretty much all the information uh, pretty straightforward again a challenge I definitely have been wanting to do for a long time I'm gonna tell you this is a big Tuesday coming on six minutes in it has also been offered for a very long time um, so kind of one of those ones on my bucket list so I was really excited that I had the opportunity to give it a try again really hoping that I would be uh, able to be victorious and successful in my attempt and win that cash jackpot um, but that's pretty much it so uh, let me know down below if you've ever had a cheesesteak and if you have where your favorite cheesesteak is from so like I said let me know down below if you've ever had a cheesesteak uh, especially in Philly, a Philly cheesesteak, I guess you could say. And at that, I will let you get to the rest of the video. Lots of cheese at the bottom of the roll.
tasty cheesesteak. Definitely not shortage of meat though. Definitely a big one. Sauces are a nice addition as well.
not. The fries are really short, so they're really hard to grab and eat. But we keep on trucking. I feel like I'm going so slow, but I'm not trying to. It's just how many fries there are, because they're short, but you said they're hard to kind of plow in and plow them out.
Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much. You rock.